the disappearance of 36-year-old gossip girl actress Chanel Maya Banks is shrouded in mystery. She was discovered in Texas. The police reported early on Wednesday morning. According to a source, after going two weeks without being heard from, it was reported that the TV personality was safe and sound and unharmed. According to law enforcement, they did not suspect foul play. However, according to the Los Angeles Times, her family has maintained that Banks has not been located and that the Texas lady posing as Chanel is actually not Chanel, but rather is using the actress's out-of-date New York identification card. Even the family called the article fake news. Danielle Torai Singh, a cousin of Chanel, posted on Facebook, I have positively identified that that is not her. For 31 years, I have known her. I am aware of her appearance. After Chanel inexplicably disappeared in Los Angeles, her family said on November 8th that they were actively looking for her. In order to help find her, they created a GoFundMe page and raised almost $3,000, claiming that her husband was not assisting the authorities. On October 30th, the Blue Bloods actress texted her cousin Torai Singh, who was a police officer and organized a fundraiser for her immediate homecoming. After her spouse allegedly told them that she does not want to be found, the actress's family, including her mother Judy Singh and cousin Danielle, flew to Southern California to assist with the hunt. They had been removing missing posters. Before her family members abruptly ceased hearing from her, Chanel and her spouse had been living in a Playa Vista condo for a year. They went into her flat and found that Banks' possessions, including her car and emotional support dog, were still there, but her laptop and phone were nowhere to be seen. Chanel was frequently in contact, but when her loved ones didn't hear from her for days, they became concerned. Five days without hearing from my cousin are red flags and alarm bells, Danielle stated. She never skips more than 48 hours of communication with her mother or myself. To me, that girl is more akin to a big sister. She claimed to have seen her cousin on FaceTime on October 27th and to have last texted her on October 30th. In addition to posting flyers in her cousin's area, Singh disclosed that Chanel's husband has not cooperated with the authorities or the family. She told ABC7, Her husband is very suspicious. He refuses to assist the LAPD. He refuses to assist her mother or myself. He's taking flyers off of vehicles and posts. At the time, police conducted four welfare checks and told KTLA5 that they were assisting with the case. They claimed that in all of those instances, Banks was not at home. The family discovered her dog inside the house. Given that her relative does not go anywhere without her dog, Danielle felt it was uncommon. They added, that dog is by her side for emotional support. In November of last year, Banks married her spouse, and she posted a video of the event to her own TikTok account. In September, she last used the social media app. Chanel has recently been putting more of an emphasis on her writing than her acting profession. According to Danielle, something is wrong, and I can tell you that in my stomach and soul that IT had been two weeks since we last spoke or made a sound. Nothing. In order to pursue an acting career, Banks relocated to Los Angeles 10 years prior, according to her family, as reported by KTLA5. In addition to Gossip Girl, Chanel, whose real name is Chanel Farrell, is well known for her roles in the television shows Blue Bloods, Suits, and 12. The last text we received from her before her phone went off the grid was on October 30th, Danielle told KTLA5. Until I locate my cousin, I will not leave California. When the actress's mother arrived from New York, she flew from Toronto to assist in the hunt for Chanel. Danielle called the police right away after learning that Banks' phone seemed to be dead and that her car and dog were still at her apartment. Investigators from the Los Angeles Police Department have verified that they are investigating the issue and have finished a welfare check this month. We love you so much, Danielle wrote to Chanel in an emotional note. All we want to know is that you're safe, that nothing happened to you, and that you're doing okay. Pray for my daughter because at this moment, we don't know precisely what occurred, Judy Banks' mother told KTLA. Nonetheless, Danielle informed the family that her husband has not committed any crime by withholding information and that the police do not suspect him of foul play. Until they have proof or probable cause to arrest him, there is nothing they can do.
She concluded by writing, Chanel would never go anywhere without telling her mom and has no family or friends here. Please assist us in locating my cousin. With a target of $20,000, the GoFundMe page has raised about $3,000 as of Tuesday.